what's going on everyone as you know for this open beta coming this weekend druid and necromancer are going to become made available to play and we wanted to share with you the potential pulverize bear build that we've been looking at running and why we think it has the ability to just absolutely well pulverize all the content so we're going to run through the build real quick, as well as uh, the options that there are within the build, because not everything is a set in stone. You, It is flexible to take other choices if you have a preference to something else, as well as the aspect powers, because the aspect powers are really what bring this together. And it's on paper, it looks to be something that will be quite overpowered. And we're going to definitely give this build a run over the weekend and we'll be sure to definitely share the results of how it goes. Maybe you try it out yourself and you have great success because looking at it from the talent spread itself, as well as the aspect powers, it looks like there is an incredible amount of high damage uh, available as well as really good survivability. So getting into it, uh, the first thing is the basic skill. You have two flexible choices here for the basic skill. Uh, Storm Strike as your first starting basic skill. This is because Storm Strike is going to give you a percent damage reduction on hit with it, as well as the fact that it has a multi target aspect to it. And the additional talents to it, Storm Strike has the ability to, a uh, chance to immobilize enemies hit, as well as provide vulnerable. Two very important things one provides CC, another one provides a debuff that makes them take more damage. All right. Your other option, if you want to go full bear with it, is maul which is going to put you in bear form right away and this is going to be a cleave aoe attack that if you take the first point into it you will then get fortify on all of your hits so if you don't have really enough fortified generation in other parts of the build you can take this and have guaranteed fortify just on your basic basic attack and then you can either increase the size of the aoe or have it also provide a potential chance for cc with a knockdown all right. There's an important thing about Storm Strike that we'll talk about with the aspect powers later and why we would use that potentially over the other bear skill instead of just being in bear form the whole time. Now, the main skill here is Pulverize. You will put five points into this just to get the absolute maximum out of it because when this is all said and done, you will have times where you will be having plus 10 ranks of Pulverize uh, in the build, which is going to be a huge spike in damage that is available to you. All right, so the first thing with Pulverize is that it's an AoE Ground Slam uh, for 52% damage. And then the next stack of it is, and this is one of the things that makes it so strong, is Pulverize will overpower every X amount of seconds. We don't know the exact amount yet, but having guaranteed overpower is really powerful because you are still going to get overpower from your proc hits, uh, your lucky hits, as well as having it in this guaranteed format every X amount of duration time. The third tier of it is enemies are stunned when they are overpowered by Pulverize. So you know you're gonna get guaranteed overpowers and this is going to uh, give an extra CC and this can help with break bar on bosses. And again, you're gonna get other overpower hits so you're gonna get multiple CCs out of this. Alternatively, you could also go this way with enemies hit with Pulverize, deal reduced damage so you're either, you know, getting a CC out of it or damage reduction from it. Uh, from here, if you just need, need to spend points, you can take uh, Predatory Instinct for more crit chance on close enemies. If you're using a melee skill, enemies are going to be close to you, as well as gaining damage reduction while you are in werebear form. Uh, and it will persist after leaving werebear form. So if you swap over to use Storm Strike for your basic skill, you'll still have this uh, damage reduction for a period of time after you leave. And then when you swap back to use pulverize it'll reapply again so nice little bit of potential damage reduction synergy there if you need that survivability coming down to your defense this is where there's a actual a actually a lot of flexibility i think cyclone armor overall is going to be a lot of people's go-to because it's a passive damage reduction that once you socket it you activate it once and it is applied it, it goes forever um and this grants you 20 percent non-physical damage reduction, but there is also an aspect power that also grants it to physical damage as well. So it's a 20% all around damage reduction, which is really nice. But the active effect on it 
is that it will also knock enemies back. And then when you spec into it, um, enemies who are knocked back by Cyclone Armor are slowed. So again, that's a crowd control based in the game. If you look at it in game, slows are considered crowd control effects. So you can get the damage scaling there if you have, uh, you know, the increased damage to crowd control targets. And then you have the two options. You can either make Cyclone Armor intensify and reduce damage that you take further up to 40% for a period of time, or you can have it knock targets back and make them vulnerable. And this is guaranteed vulnerability on top of your other potential chances for vulnerability. So again, it's providing CC and it's providing a damage increase source, a debuff if you'd like to, um, or just further defensive capability. From there, we actually skip companions. This is something that I don't know how this is gonna work out yet. I don't know just how good companions could be, but for what we're looking at, it's not on the table at the moment. And so we're gonna skip down to Wrath, and that's where you have, that's where you put those points into Pulverize, get those extra ranks of Pulverize early, and that's gonna let you push down to the Wrath tree. Now, Wrath is gonna be the one section that we actually take two skills in uh, at this time, and the first one is going to be Trample. Trample is going to give you a movement as well as become unstoppable. And it's going to knock back enemies and enemies that are knocked back into terrain get stunned and uh, take additional damage. This is something you actually, you know, for all you barbarian players out there, this is something you have to talent into to get all of this good stuff, right? With charge, with charge, you got to talent into the effect to get, you know, the stun, stun effects and whatnot. But trample just gets it all in one and it's a lower cooldown. So barbarians are, you know, a little upset about this one, probably. So trample, it's gonna be your movement, unstoppable, so CC break as well. And you know, it's also gonna be a stun. Uh, it's gonna be more crowd control. You're gonna take a talent here for mending, which is going to increase healing that you receive from all sources. So be it own healing, potions. Um, and you know, again, this is where we're talking about the defensives. I personally said cyclone armor, but let's say you do wanna go blood howl. This is a self heal. So for 20% of your max life right here, mending would amplify that. And Bloodhound does have the ability to be very high uptime when mobbing because it reduces the cooldown on kills. So there's a lot there with that. Um, I am going to backtrack here real briefly because I did skip over the other defensives, but like I said, it is flexible. Earthen Bulwark does provide you a barrier based on your base life. Um, and it can grant you unstoppable for while it's active. So if you need that unstoppability, Debilitating Roar, Shapeshift into Werebear, and you uh, reduce nearby enemies' damage by 50% for 4 seconds. The only thing about this is that there's already so many other sources of damage reduction, and it really comes down to, is there diminishing returns on it? Um, but it does also have the ability to give you Fortify, which can be nice. But uh, but that's where that Mending comes into play with Blood Howl for increased healing. You know, you have, you know, between Potions and Blood Howl, there's a lot of self-healing potential there. Uh... And then what you really want is to get to Provocation, which has a baseline. When you remain in Werebear form for at least 30 seconds, your next skill will overpower. So again, this is a second source of guaranteed overpower that you will get access to. All right, a second source of it. So you've already got the guaranteed overpower proccing from Enhanced Pulverize. Now you're also gonna get a guaranteed overpower on your next skill here from Provocation and the value that is shown on the tooltip isn't changing on the builder that we have. So I'm assuming the duration is going to go down as we put ranks into it. So it's 30 seconds at the base rank at rank three. It could be say something like 24 seconds. Maybe it goes down three seconds each, or it could be higher. It could be, you know, six seconds each. And now we're looking at an 18 set every 18 seconds. Not sure yet. We'll find out during the beta. And then from there, we go to Hurricane. Hurricane is going to be a passive damage um, effect that once you activate it, it goes for a period of time. It does a hurricane around you. It's another uh, AOE around yourself. And from here, enemies who are damaged by Hurricane are slowed. So again, applying crowd control and enemies affected by Hurricane deal less damage. So here you are applying crowd control and damage reduction once again for yourself. So there's a lot of stuff in here that reduces damage that either the enemies deal or reduces damage that you take. So a lot of tanky options all across the tree, tree for this class, even just outside of the defensive tree, you have tons of damage reduction all around that is at uh, available to you. The hurricane one is 
an option that uh, we'll talk about why it's there. It's really there just to amplify your pulverize. And we'll get to that once we get over here to the aspects. And then the last one that you can take is Grizzly Rage. If you don't feel like taking Grizzly Rage and you don't want the ultimate, there's room to take other skills here. You know, if you want to take a companion like Wolves to get Fortify when they attack, or if you want to get an extra defensive here, that's fine. Your main thing is going to be Pulverize. You're not really worried too much about other abilities providing damage for you with this build. But Grizzly Rage uh, will shapeshift you into a Dire wear Bear for 10 seconds and you'll gain bonus damage and damage reduction. Uh, and the damage bonus goes up for each second while you're in this form. Kills extend the duration by one second up to 10 additional seconds. So it's already, you know, you activate it, it you know, if you're not using it on a boss fight per se, but while clearing uh, mobs in a dungeon, this is going to be up to a 20 second duration. So it's going to have a 40 second downtime. So that's already pretty nice in itself uh, for what it is. And uh, that is, puts you at level 25 druid here. And so let's talk about the aspect powers that really are what tie all of this in together because there's a lot of elements to this um, that are going to be what makes this so powerful. All right, so there is a little bit of flexibility with the aspect powers, but there are some core uh, crucial ones that you are going to look to have for this to really bring it together. And they did say that they are buffing legendary drop rates for the beta, so you should be able to get all these legendaries throughout your time. Now, first one. When, when you have Fortify, your Earth skills gain plus additional ranks. Uh, originally, this had a max value of three, so up to three additional ranks. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Earth skills, but you didn't list any Earth skills. Correct. That's because we have um, an aspect up here that is going to be <laughs> uh, Aspect of Ursine Horror. Should have actually talked about this one first. Aspect of Ursine Horror. Pulverize is now also an Earth skill. Also, not becomes an Earth skill, it is now also an Earth skill on top of being what it currently is as a shape-shifting skill. So while um, you have Fortify, your Earth skills, now Pulverize, are going to get free plus additional ranks to it. So, you know, here we are, if you're running Maul and you're generating Fortify on all of your uh, attacks, you know, it's gonna be very easy for you to generate Fortify uh, overall as a whole so right here you're going to get automatic plus ranks to your attacks and then you have uh storm shifters aspect here this is where hurricane comes into play while hurricane is active you get additional plus ranks to your shape shifting skills pulverizes a shape shifting skill it puts you in werebear form so that's another additional plus three ranks that's the max value that originally was showed to it so already you're looking at plus six ranks to your pulverize so right now if you have Pulverize maxed out and you have those two aspect powers active, you're looking at a plus 11 rank Pulverize. This isn't even including any plus ranks that you get on your gear. All right. So you can actually push Pulverize's rank level really high to really crank up its damage. Now, uh, other parts of that, and this is where the flexibility for the basic comes in, is when you cast a Storm skill. So... Uh, storm Strike, if you want to go the Storm Strike route, when you cast a Storm skill, your Earth skills gain a percent critical damage bonus uh, for X seconds. And when you cast an Earth skill, so when you cast Pulverize or Trample now as well, Trample is uh, uh, a shape-shifting skill and it will also become uh, an Earth skill uh, with one of the other uh, aspects of Trampled Earth. Trample now summons Landslide Pillars and becomes an Earth skill. So you have now two shape-shifting skills that gain benefits of shape-shifting ranks and earth ranks and is going to also work with when casting an earth skill you gain critical strike chance from storm skills so this will make your basic attack critically strike as well as make things like hurricane also which is considered storm uh critically strike as well for its damage so you're getting a nice bouncing back synergy just between these two abilities in themselves with these aspect powers already um your core skills deal percent increased damage based on your amount of fortify. We already are looking at having fortify all the time, as well as having it, um, you know, again, the synergy of uh, getting increased ranks to your earth skills while fortified. So you already want to be fortified. So this is just another damage modifier on top of everything. Uh, attacking enemies with a basic skill increases the damage of your next core skill by a percentage up to a percentage amount. So you use your storm strike, your next 
core skill is going to deal increased damage as well as going to have increased critical strike damage. So just stacking these modifiers on top of each other back and forth constantly. Um, Earth skills deal percent, and this is going to be an always effect. Earth skills deal percent increase more critical strike damage to crowd controlled enemies. So on top of the percent critical strike damage bonus that you get here, you have another one here for your earth skills. And with Pulverize now being an earth skill, it gets this benefit. And it's to crowd controlled enemies. Well, Pulverize is able to crowd control. Stormstrike is able to crowd control. Maul is able to crowd control. Uh, Cyclone Armor is able to crowd control. Trample can crowd control. Hurricane can crowd, crowd control. All of your abilities are able to crowd control. Pulverize itself can crowd control. So you should very much so be able to get this critical strike damage modifier at all times as it currently stands. Uh, from there, you also have, this is just an additional thing to further increase Pulverize's possibility of clearing. I don't know how the shockwave is going to look on this yet. I'm kind of split on it at the moment. Pulverize creates a shockwave that travels forward and deals damage to targets in its path. So this is just an increased AOE effect uh, to Pulverize. This would be good for like clearing through the dungeons. Maybe you don't want to use it on bosses and you'd switch out another aspect somewhere else. Um, in terms of defensives, this is the one we talked about. Cyclone Armor provides physical damage reduction as well. In addition, Cyclone Armor will also apply to allies. So if you're doing things in a party, you're helping out your party too. Uh, the duration, this is where the flex pick, this is going to depend on your defensive options. If you go Earthen Bulwark, Earthen Bulwark duration is increased uh, by up to six seconds. In addition, killing an enemy with Earth skills, which is now pulverized as well, uh, will replenish the am an amount of uh, damage on your active earthen barrier. Uh, so you can, you know, extend the lifespan of your barrier value uh, over time. And then, you know, if you, you're, you're going to need resource in order to, you know, use pulverize frequently. Uh, another option to get in here, depending on what, you know, aspect powers you get available to you, restore an amount of your primary resource when you crowd control an enemy. As we just talked about, Almost all of your abilities, if not all of your abilities, have the ability to crowd control. So lots of opportunity here for you to just generate your resource. And that's going to allow you to slam the pulverize nonstop as it goes on. Now, this is just for the level 25 uh, beta. There's other things that you can do as well that, that makes this more powerful once we incorporate uniques into it. Uh, we don't have uniques, so, you know, we kind of left these out. Um, and so there's one where I want to look here real fast if I can find it. This is the thing. Your werebear form is now your default true form and you gain plus two ranks to all werebear skills. So if you had this unique, this is another plus two rank to pulverize, to trample, to maul. Just you're getting a bunch of free ranks on all of your abilities before you're even looking to rank it yourself, uh, through your gear or even just upping it on your own. Even without upping it on your own, between the Ballistic uh, aspect and the Storm Shifter aspect, you're looking at uh, plus six Pulverize, uh, which is already really strong in itself. And you know, once you do spec into it, plus 11 baseline while you have those things active. So there's a lot of really good big damage synergy there. Uh, a couple other things, there's a unique um, or aspect power that makes Trample uh, which is now trample becomes an earth skill and such trample would cast landslide when you use it. And there's other things that make landslide like proc a second time and do additional damage. So, you know, we only have so many aspect powers available to us, but there's flexibility for you to mix and match other aspect powers to do different things, depending on what you want to do with the build yourself. Uh, this is just what I'm looking at trying out initially baseline. There's a lot of really free big damage to come out of Pulverize, particularly with the free overpowers. Again, two free guaranteed sources of overpower. There's even more overpower uh, synergy when we incorporate things like the Paragon board and other uniques, but we don't have those for this beta, so we're not going to talk about those. But this is what I'm looking at starting off with for the bear build, my bear Pulverize build. This is what I'm looking at doing. Uh, you know, try, try it yourself if you want, or try different things, try, mix and match other abilities or aspect powers uh, as you get them. And, you know, let me know what works out for you. And, or if this build itself did work out for you. And if you like this one, 
Uh, but you know, it's looking like pulverize is going to uh, pulverize things as it, as it currently stands. So really looking forward to trying that out for those of you who stung around, stuck around and watched the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did like it. And if you want to catch us live on Twitch and ask us any questions or check in on the build while the weekend's going on over the beta, you can find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zav. And thank you for watching and have a good one.